evacuation cantilever training video. Uh, anybody exiting out of the building just has to take this release arm that's right here, which activates the uh, the holding pin on the other side at the end over there. So if you look at my handle here, I just have to turn this by turning this mechanism here. They release the mechanism there. They have to come down the stairs. Then they have to start coming out. And then the mechanism will, the staircase will start coming down. And as it comes down, it comes down at two to three feet per second. Hits the ground, stays down. And once they get off the fire escape, it does not go back up because it's not supposed to. It allows the next person to evacuate without having to go through the whole process. And this person can go away. When the firemen return, the firemen now have the fire escape ready for them to use, and they just step on it, and they start going back up to evacuate the building. There's no need for anybody to hold it in its position. Now, I'm going to show you the process of how to put it back up. The putting back up process involves two people, so the fire escape does go up easily, so it can be put up by hand. Okay, but I need somebody else up there to put on the mechanism, so I'm going to have the person activating my camera come here and raise it. Now you can only raise it so far with your hand and then you're going to have to use an extension pole just to push it up the rest of the way, but I'll show that. So you need two people to put the uh, unit back up in the air. extension pole. The fire escape has to be raised until the weight is resting on the on the unit up there as soon as the weight is resting. The weight is resting. And then the person up here uh, is going to activate this. So go underneath to show the mechanism getting activated. The person underneath just activates the switch. So that switch goes once activated, now no one can pull it down. Go to the other side, please. With the mechanism in position, if somebody was to try to pull this down and break into the building, that mechanism stops them from being able to pull the unit down. But uh, if this is going to be inspected every every quarter, you know, then the only thing somebody has to do is activate here. So the mechanism is ready for multiple use. Activate here. Come down, come stepping down slowly. It's supposed to drop two to three feet per second. So the average person will come down. Once it drops, as you can see, it drops two to three feet per second. And then you're able to evacuate. Step away from the fire. And it stays down as required by law. Must be single action requiring no special knowledge. Drop to the ground and stay down at two to three feet per second. And it requires two people to basically re configure it so that it's ready for the next inspection.